So hi everyone. Today we will connect our MS SQL Server with the Node.js application. So let's have a look. So I have write down the all steps in this Notepad file. So we will follow all the steps one by one. And after the video, I will give the all steps in my video description. So follow the steps. So create one folder with your application. So yeah application name so i've already created one folder with my application name that is test 2 so second step is go to file path and type cmd and hit enter then command prompt will be open with your application path so basically like when we go to the this file path and we write the cmd so it will open the uh, command prompt with the exact path of your application or of your folder so follow step 3 to create package.json file so the command is npm init yy so just copy and run this command in the command prompt so basically it will create the package.json file in your application so uh, it is successfully created so you can see in the test too that it has created package.json file so let's move to vs code so just type code space dot so it will open the visual studio code with your application folder so you can see that step four we have already completed now open your terminal and run the blow command so npm install basically we are going to install the npm so just copy the npm install and go to terminal new terminal and install so it have created package hyphen log.json file also so let's move to another command so this is npm install ms node sql version 8 so basically this command will be helpful for connecting the ms sql server so just copy and paste so after this package install, it will create the uh, node module folder also. Basically, the all packages will be installed in the node modules. So you can see node module folder has been come, and you can have a look ms node sql version eight over here. So now this will add the blue line of code in this packet or JSON file. Okay. So we can ver re verify that it has like write the code in the package.json file or not. So we can see this set, set of code already been there. Okay. Now go to package.json file and paste the block code. So basically, this will help to like uh, use the um, our. dependencies uh, basically we are using norbon and version 2.4 okay just save and now go to the script section in the packet.json file and write this separate code so in this okay so basically this will like to hit the api.js first when we run the our project so we will create api.js file later first create the db config files and db operations files so uh, like you can see that now create the db config file okay so i have copied this code and now i will create db config file paste the code so you can see that we have write the connection string over there in the we have choose the const connection string this is server name server name basically like our sql server name so you can see connect this is my server name so if you are using server authentication then you can choose username and password also in your connection string you can write the username and password over here module dot export equal to connection string basically when we refer this db config file so it will like export the connection string 
it will basically return the connection string in simple terms. Now create another file db operation.js. Okay, so in this file we will use this code. So I've already written the whole code to save the time basically. db operations dot js okay. paste this code so like we are referring the db config file over there and ms not sql version it so we are like requiring the ms not sql so i have write the one method get login details uh, so this is a function to get the login details uh, and here i am writing the sql.query so this is i am passing the config basically like config means like connection string and here query so like we can do this in this way also query to let start from tbl user and i can just pass this the parameter also so if we get any error so it will end the error also else it will console.log row so it will write the all rows in console so let's move to another step now create one file with the name api.js so this is the file which will be start by default api.js Test. so you can see that uh, i have given the re reference of db operation file so db equal to require db operation okay so i'm using i think we do not need this line so we are using this we are calling the method of that db operation file okay let's move to another step now run the project okay we are in final step npm start so npm start basically to start a project so let's see what is the result of this file oops something is not good not dom is not recognized as internal or external command so let's uh, then npm install again npm start oh great so we have got the all result from the database um one two three four five five lines so just move to pl user and execute Okay, so let me add one more line. Test six at the right test dot com. So just go to terminal, new terminal again npm start. So let's see. So you can see the new line has been come. So that's all about, thank you so much.